Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Smartsheet. I'm going to cover a very quick basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Smartsheet works. So, if you have no idea about Smartsheet and how to get started, then this video is for you. Smartsheet is a flexible spreadsheet-centric work management tool designed to track team projects. In this tutorial, we will guide you step-by-step -step on how to use Smartsheet. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the Smartsheet tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you'll have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account. And if you already have an account, just skip this step and let's sign in. So here we are in my Smartsheet account. First, I'll show you what you can actually find in Smartsheet, and then I'll show you how we can use Smartsheet. So, once you're signed in, you can access and organize your work from the left navigation bar. The navigation bar includes Home, Notifications, Browse, Recents, Favorites, Work Apps, and Solutions Center. The left navigation bar allows you to quickly access important sheets, reports, or dashboards when you need them. To go to a specific place, just hover over an icon on the navigation bar to see what it means and click on the icon to go there. Let's start with the home page. Home is where you can stay up to date on recent requests and recommended Smartsheet items on your personalized home page. From here, you can access suggested items, create new Smartsheet items via Solution Center, and submit feedback about home via the megaphone icon. The notifications icon will show you all of your notifications in one place. Browse contains every Smartsheet item that you own or that is shared with you. You can organize your Smartsheet items into folders and workspaces and access your work apps here. Recents display your most recently accessed Smartsheet items. You can pin important items for easy access. To pin important items, hover over an item and click the pin icon to keep it at the top of the panel. You can pin up to 20 items here. The order in which pinned items appear is based on when you've pinned them. Newly pinned items appear closer to the top. You can also remove recent items by right-clicking the item in the list and selecting Remove from Recents. Favorites allow you to add items to your Favorites panel. To add an item, open a Smartsheet item and click the Add to Favorites icon on the right of its name. If you'd like to remove an item from your Favorites panel, open the item and click the icon again. Work apps allow you to link different applications to your Smartsheets. Here, all of the apps that you have used previously with a combination in Smartsheet will appear. Finally, the Solution Center, the plus icon, gives you the options to create new sheets, reports, dashboards, and more. You can create blank items to build from scratch, import existing third-party files into Smartsheet as new sheets, or start from a template. A sheet is a fundamental element in Smartsheet where all your work and data are stored. It has a default view that looks like a grid, but you can customize it with different column types, hierarchies, attachments, and collaboration tools. Smartsheet also offers other sheet views that you can use like Gantt, Card, and Calendar. These views provide different ways to visualize and interact with your data, depending on your needs. So, let's start with creating a new sheet. Firstly, click on the plus icon on the left navigation bar, Solution Center. Now in the left panel, click Create, then select the tile for the item you want. Then enter the name for the item and click OK. The screen will refresh to display your new item. It's all ready for you to start working. 
You can also import files to create a new sheet in Smartsheet. You can import an existing file from Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Project, Google Spreadsheet, or Atlassian Trello board. To do this, click on the Solution Center on the left navigation bar and then select Import. Choose the source application that you're importing from and upload the file from your computer. After uploading the file, enter a name for the sheet and select the primary column. Finally, click the Import button to import it in Smartsheet. Smartsheet also provides users with the option to use templates to save time and maintain consistency in their projects. Templates can help keep standard elements such as column names, column types, and conditional formatting rules consistent, which is especially useful when creating roll-up reports or dashboards from multiple sheets. You have two options for using templates in Smartsheet. The first is to use a pre-built template from the Solution Center. Smartsheet offers hundreds of pre-built templates that can be customized in the same way as editing sheets. You can also edit cell data, change column types, or include your own attachments as needed. The sheet name will be the same as the name of the template, but you can rename it if needed. The second option is to create your own template. You can create a template from any existing sheet. To create a custom template, you can follow a few simple steps. First, open the sheet you want to save as a template. Then, click File on the top left, and then Save as Template to open the Save as Template window. Enter a name for the template, choose the folder where you want to save it, then choose the options to save with the template and click Save. Once you have created your own template, you can use it to create a new sheet. To create a new sheet from a custom template, simply locate the template by clicking Browse on the navigation bar. Next, click on the folder or workspace name in the left panel, and then click on the name of the template. A preview of the template will appear and you can then click the Use Template button in the lower right corner of the window. You can name the sheet and choose which features to include before clicking Save. In Smartsheet, adding, editing, or clearing cell content is simple. To add information to a cell, click on it and start typing. To edit a cell, double-click it and make the necessary changes. To clear cell content, Select one or more cells and press the Delete or Backspace button on your keyboard. You can also clear row and column content. To clear row content, click the row number to the left of the row to highlight it, and then press Delete or Backspace. Similarly, to clear column content, click on the header at the top to highlight it, and then press the Delete or Backspace key. Keep in mind that clearing the content from a row or column won't delete the row or column itself, but only remove the content from its cells. Now, to move a single row, simply click on the row number and drag it up or down the sheet. The row will be moved to the new location once you release your mouse. The same way for columns. And to move one or more cells, just place your cursor on the cell border and click and drag it to the desired location. From here, you can change the view of your sheet. For example, the Gantt view. Or, let's pick the card view. Next, filters are a powerful tool in Smartsheet that allow you to show or hide specific information in your sheet. With filters, you can easily see all tasks that are due on a specific date everything that is currently assigned to you, or all items in a particular stage of a workflow. Whether you need to focus on specific data or exclude irrelevant information, filters make it easy to customize your view of the sheet and save time. Now you can add collaborators to a sheet or report to help you working or just give you feedback. 
the collaborators you share the file with may be inside or outside your organization. You can even share Smartsheet items with users who don't have a Smartsheet account. Though without an account, they may not be able to access all Smartsheet features. Click the Share button in the upper right corner of the sheet. Then, enter the email addresses of the people you want to share the sheet with in the Add People and Work Groups field. Select the permission level you want to give each person from the drop-down menu next to their email address, and click the Share Sheet button at the bottom of the window. Smartsheet looks like a spreadsheet but has additional features to help people work together. Attached files, discussions, date reminders, and notifications of changes to the sheet. In Smartsheet, deleting an item is simple. To delete an item, click on File, then select Delete to remove it. However, it is important to note that you have a 30-day period to recover a deleted item. After 30 days, the item will be permanently erased and cannot be recovered. All deleted items will be moved to the Deleted Items section in your left panel in the Browse tab. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Smartsheet. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.